All right, good morning, folks. <laughs> yes, that was Kong Pop, whom I hung out with yesterday. For those who don't know him, he works for NASA, but in addition to his responsibilities, he pursues numerous independent efforts. He's writing the earthquake paper with us, I'm doing a daily tracking of his tropical storm system, and he's helping with the Earth Spots hypothesis along with numerous other projects. I watched him levitate a triangular contraption yesterday using electricity. Today's top story, as if the title didn't give it away, is an X-Class solar flare. Nowhere else this could have come from but those monster spots on the limb. I'll admit, even though we've been calling out this flare uptick for more than two weeks, I didn't think we'd actually hit X-Class. Of course, it was merely an X-1, and it was on the limb, not facing Earth. We've taken X-10 in previous cycles, no problem, and many X-flares directed right at Earth, so this is no concern for us in a couple of different ways. But the sunspots are turning in to face this way. You could fit a number of Earths inside that sunspot group. And the overall sunspot number is rising as well. See the top right for development at the end there. Sunspot analysis begins with those new spots, just born, beta already, eyes open for further growth there. Meanwhile, the big boy that made the X-flare is adding magnetic complexity to the size factor. While the furthest positive blue pigment is likely penumbral magnetics, there are numerous delta spots where oppositely polarized umbras are within the same penumbral region, morphing fast there too. There was a gamma ray burst on the 17th, came from way south in the heavens. Solar wind speed and plasma temperature in yellow and green are on the rise, and before density dropped out in orange, they were producing significant geomagnetic instability. More is possible today. In terms of quakes, when we said the current corona hole was weaker, we didn't think it would virtually disappear from the power chart. It's very weak, but the equatorial corona hole behind it has a lot of force, and that will be the bigger seismic test. In case you missed the news, either here or on TV, and in case you haven't seen our playlist, Comet Siding Spring will have its close approach to Mars today. When the sun goes down, Mars won't be far behind it, but if you can get binoculars or a scope on the red planet in that little window, you won't be sorry. The coma will brush the atmosphere of Mars. Happy viewing. Top quakes of the day were down south, just north of Antarctica. We also took a couple above average tremors in the Caribbean and yet another Arctic rumble, quite a few of those lately. Jumping to Hawaii, where Anna did not make direct landfall but is close enough to be flooding areas, bringing high winds and causing a number of alerts on the island. We await the full details. Meanwhile, Gonzalo has left Bermuda and rushed north in the Atlantic, going to clip eastern Canada and then head over towards Europe. In the U.S. and Canada, a squished high-pressure cell is delivering the cold needed for snow and chillier temperatures as far south as the Midwest. Meanwhile, it is driving southern heat and moisture up its western edge and due west of its southern curve. The rain and storm zones are a bit vague this morning, so be sure to check your local forecast around lunchtime. Just for reference, when you look at the temperature delta, you can see how important the near-surface wind drive is for these daily temperatures. Massive low, still not moving. It will rain from Iceland to eastern Finland, but the worst storm zones are where the Atlantic flow crests and also where it meets the heat coming north through mainland Europe. Got some nice earth spots near western Australia. We look to the low for the thunderstorm warnings, although there will also be precipitation in the southeast, just less severe. David and Dylan, we appreciate the hosting, driving, goodies, and conversation. Floyd, Virginia is an interesting place. Mobile Observatory is off to Tennessee. Hi, Wasi, here we come. Got some global perspective and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.